Welcome back to EVE Online. That's right, I haven't forgotten this series. Just been busy with a lot of things and preoccupied. In any event, a few days ago, I had the fortune of being able to attend a scouting class held by uh, CAS, the Center for Advanced Studies, the newbie corporation that I am yet still a part of and have no intention of leaving, actually. Uh, after that scouting class, I decided that I was going to take a trip down into Nullsec to put into practice what I had been taught in that class. And this video is the result of that. It is a good part of the trip uh, early on. I didn't include the entire trip because, frankly, it took me about four hours to make a 14 jump flight down into null security and uh, well there was a lot of what is termed slow boating traveling at sublight speeds to uh, get to a certain distance away from gates to make location bookmarks and such like and that takes time, especially when you have to do it twice each in 14 systems along the way. So, without further ado, here we are. Okay, I'm on an expedition down into null security space as an exercise in flying cloaked safely through potentially hostile space. Something that I actually haven't done before. I've never been this deep into NullSec right now. I mean, 8V SJJ is the system, and currently I am traveling away from the Stargate that I just came through to get into this system, and once I'm sufficiently far away from it, I will make a uh, bookmark for this location so that I can in the future, coming through that gate, warp to this bookmark and get away from the gate quickly so that I can take time and descan the area. Okay, I'm going to make that bookmark now. Let's see. Yeah, it'll be in places. Add location. Alright, now, this particular location and space is warpable. It's close enough to the gate to warp to zero and jump real quick. It's also far enough away that uh, if I'm coming through that gate, I can immediately warp to this bookmark and uh, still be close enough to check out what's going on in the gate vicinity. Right now, there's nothing because I'm the only one in local right now. But that isn't always the case. Now I'm going to take my destination gate and select that going to align to it, and then I'm going to warp to within 100, to warp to within 100 kilometers, warp drive remaining active. cloaked the whole time. Change my D-scan down here to 5 degrees. Scanning the area. Obviously, there's nothing here. Okay, now, having arrived at 99 kilometers, I'm going to turn around here, double click in space, and I'm going to travel away from the gate until I am more than 150 kilometers away from it. The idea being coming through the gate, you want to be able to warp to, or say approaching the gate even, you want to be able to warp to something that's far enough away that you can warp. And since you can't warp within 150 kilometers, you have to have your bookmark or thing that you're warping to has to be at least 150 or preferably more away. So I'm going to warp out, I'm going to fly out here to some distance greater than 150, 
somewhere between 150 and 250 kilometers away. I'll make another bookmark, and that way when I'm coming back, and I come through this gate, I can warp straight to my bookmark, because uh, from what I've learned, warping straight to the next gate is not a good idea, because it could be gate camped, there could be a bubble positioned in such that it's on a line between this gate and the one I'd be going to, and this way I can warp to a place that probably wouldn't be bubbled, or have a warp disruptor bubble there, or uh, something like that that would prevent me from getting out real quick. All right, so I'm going to do that, cut back in, when either something interesting happens, or I'm ready to do it again. This is going to take a while. All right, I have made my bookmark, and now I'm going to go ahead and jump through that gate. And what's going to happen is, I jump through the gate, and during the few seconds I have before the gate cloak drops, I'm going to turn in some random direction, double click in space, and fly away from the gate until I'm out far enough to make a bookmark and repeat the procedure. So let's select the gate, align to it, and now I'm going to go ahead and jump. Warp drive active. Jumping. Going through. Okay. Now, as soon as I do anything, the gate cloak is going to drop. So, okay. Now, right over there is the destination gate. I'm not going that way. I'm going to just go this way. Activate the cloak. I was only decloaked for a second or so. That's fine. I'm going to continue in this direction. Let's see, where's the gate I just came through? This one. I'm going to continue in that direction until I'm something over 200 kilometers away from that gate. And that's when I'll be taking my next move. I'm also going to try to be sure to not get closer to these Serpentis rats, because they would just decloak me if I got within 200 Within 2,500 meters or two and a half kilometers, anything will decloak you. And since I don't want that, I'm going to stay away from those things. It doesn't look like it's a problem because I'm moving this way and they are apparently just hanging in that area, which is fine by me. I will check in after I've made my next bookmark. Okay, I've made my bookmark. And I did so in a, by moving in a direction away from this gate that I just came through that was not in a direct line to the gate that I'm going to. Because when coming from that gate back to uh, this gate, if the gate were camped or there's a warp disruptor bubble there or something like that, I won't fly into it, or at least I'll be a lot less likely to, and that way I can arrive close enough to be on grid and see what's going on before deciding what to do, but far enough away in an off direction to not necessarily jump into the middle of something. And speaking the middle of something, while there's been a few uh, pilots come through, like that crow right now, they've just been coming through and either arriving through the gate and heading for somewhere else, or arriving here and going through the gate. These Serpentis rats, at first I thought they were shooting at the cargo containers, but they weren't. 
they were shooting. Okay, it isn't showing now. I guess I'm too far away for it to show. But at the time, yeah, it's too far to show apparently. But at the time, when I clicked over to this tab, the drones tab, there were a bunch of Warrior Two drones there. Mind you, there was no pilots there in control of them. But these rats were shooting at and warp scrambling the drones. I had not seen that behavior before. All right. Interesting. Learn something new every day. Okay, now I'm 53 AU out from that gate, which means I can't scan it because the scan range is 14.3 AU. So I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to warp to 100 for that outbound gate. We'll and repeat this whole process. Get there, fly in a direction away from that gate, and make a new bookmark. And then go through the gate and repeat the whole process for every system along the way. And at this point, I'm going to cut out and only cut back in if something interesting happens. There you have it. That's pretty much uh, the entire gist of the trip. It was uh, system after system, gate after gate of doing those actions and uh, running through the procedure, practicing everything. I did uh, not really encounter anyone. I think I was fortunate in that regard because who knows? The additional nerves might just have caused me to do something stupid. It's entirely possible. It wouldn't be the first time. In any event, I did actually make it out. I went 14 systems in from Orval and uh, then reversed the trip and came back out. The trip back out took a lot less time. It was four hours going in. It was about 30 to 45 minutes flying back out. And as a bonus to all of that, I successfully transported cargo worth about three times my ship. So I think it was very well worth doing. And I'd say this is the first of probably many trips down into null security. In fact, I may move down there at some point. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.